Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season. If you're enjoying these videos, please don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out a lot and it tells me that you want to see more. So I'll give you a second to uh, press that button if you haven't already. So for today's video, um, we're going to talk about grief, especially with the new year. Um, for many of us, it's a time and a symbol of a new start and a new beginning. We often set ambitious goals to better ourselves, which is great, but we end up putting a lot of pressure on ourselves and then we get frustrated and then we want to give up. Recently in my life, um, some old wounds have been reopened and I was finding myself grieving again and feeling like no progress was made. I wasn't over this specific thing that happened in my life and I just wanted to be happy and not be sad about it anymore. So for this week's video, I wanted to create a piece that represented the grief and the sadness that I've felt as of recently but also something that also represents hope. Hope for, for strength, for change, for improvement, and happiness. Now to start off, let's talk about inspiration and symbolism. So when it comes to symbolism with this photo shoot, here's a few things that I was um, wanting to incorporate in my images. Candles because they represent light in the darkness. I wanted to use um, the color red somewhere in my image to represent strength, the color white to represent faith and hope. I wanted to incorporate a little bit of fog, which represents uncertainty and isolation. And then since it's winter, why not? Winter can represent renewal, self-reflection, but also mourning. I was also inspired uh, by this painting by French painter Charles Joshua Chaplin. Since I didn't have um, a dress or a top and skirt combination that I really liked for the shoot, I ended up using um, just like an off-white bed sheet that I have at home as my wardrobe. Um, you know, just using what you got. When it comes to the candles, I wanted to use candlesticks. Um, initially, I was thinking of using green. So in the footage, you'll see me with a green candle, but then I later switched to red. These I purchased at Kroger for 10 cents. Ta-da! Um, and later, um, upon deciding wanting red, I got this two pack at Dollar Tree. So two for a dollar. Um, I will say they don't light. These do. These do not, so um, I had to Photoshop um, flames in there, but easy fix. And that was pretty much it in terms of wardrobe and props. In terms of camera equipment, uh, I just used a tripod, my camera of course, and my 24 millimeter lens. Now before we get to the footage of the behind the scenes of the photo shoot, just wanted to let you know that there was something real weird about my gimbal and it was vibrating. So if you see a lot of <laughs> vibrating, that's why. So my bad. Anyways, let's get to it.
So I think the pictures turned out pretty good. Um, it was a very simple setup, very simple wardrobe, everything. Honestly, the hardest part was the Photoshop portion. Shooting during the day, but turning the image into nighttime took me a minute to figure out. And then I also referred to YouTube and my dad helped me and yeah. Um, it was a very emotional process for me, um, you know, as I'm making these photos, editing them, shooting them, all of that, very, um, very hard. But I did it, and um, again, I think it's something that I needed to do. Uh, remember uh, to cut yourself some slack, you know, uh, change, healing, grieving, all that stuff takes time. And don't be so hard on yourself if you're not over that breakup or that disappointment or that loss or whatever's going on. Just wanted to give a huge shout out to one of my best friends, Crystal, for helping me out with this photo shoot. Um, she came out in the freezing cold with me um, to make the shoot happen. Um, so even though my ideas might be a little crazy, Thank you so much. I couldn't have done it without you. I hope you feel inspired today. Um, and just remember you just need a little imagination and creativity and you can make whatever you want. I'll see you next week. Bye. Oh. <laughs> now it com when it comes to <laughs> Charles Joshua Chaplin. Charles Joshua Chaplin. Ew, what is all this hair? Gross. Gross. It's my hair, but it's gross. Damn it. That's cold.